What is the craziest possible Minecraft feature? Bending pistons, customizable TNT, or working mouse rovers? Well, today I challenged my friend to a data pack battle where we both added some insane new Minecraft features for eight different categories and had three judges pick a winner in the end. Category one is Redstone, take it away geek and <laughs> show us what you got. Let's do it. So for Redstone, I did something that uh, is a bit interesting and it might, uh, could be used for both good and bad. Mm -hmm. And that is the gizmo hat. Oh, what on earth is that? <laughs> I can put the gizmo hat on uh, my head. <laughs> that looks amazing. <laughs> Obviously. Um, but uh, over here, you can see that there's, you know, some standard Redstone stuff. We've got a door, we've got a button. Um, but when I sneak, while wearing this helmet. Observe what happens. That is ridiculous. It can power on any uh, levers Whoa. or buttons or pressure plates that are nearby. So even if there's some secret redstone device, anything within 10 blocks, it gets uh, powered or toggled, I should say, because you can also turn it off. So if I put in a block of TNT, it explodes. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just try something real quick. Oh, and here comes the lag. Oh! Oh god. <laughs> oh, okay. Bro, there was like a three by three of TNT. Where did this all come from? McYoung coincidentally standing in the corner. My game crashed. I don't know how my game crashed, but it did. I can't think of any reason. That was uh, a lot more destructive than it should have been. Yeah, so there you have it, Gizmo Hat. That's my contribution to the redstone industry. What you guys are looking at here is a piston. Amazing, right? Amazing. No, boring. It's it's just a normal piston. <laughs> uh, so my new block is actually a double piston. Yo, oh, what? Wow. But that's not all, because what you're looking at here is no. a 10 block long piston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Dude, what? And I'm not done yet, because this piston is not only super long, it also bends. No. <laughs> What on earth? Yeah. Redstone is punching the wall right now. Does it actually push blocks? Yes, so it doesn't just look super cursed, it actually works. So if we activate this piston, it actually pushes all the no. blocks according to piston logic. Yo, what? Yeah. Yeah. What? Um, I even made a sticky variation so you can pull in blocks from super far away. <laughs> What? And even with that the even with the normal piston, you can push blocks around curves because you can just Dang. yeah do curse stuff like that. It's super amazing. That is ridiculous. Yeah, so so let's check out how you can actually use this block yourself. Yes, please. So the crafting recipe looks like this. Uh, basically like a normal piston, but with an additional piston in the middle. Nice. Um, and you basically get <laughs> this cursed bending piston. Um, then cool. you can just place it down. Um, and you get these nice marker particles and you can just click the white ones and just lead it wherever you want. And once you're done, you can either click uh, those orange particles or you just uh, make it 10 blocks long and then it will confirm automatically. That's crazy. And then you can just grab some redstone, power it, and it will. <laughs> <laughs> and it oh, almost gets it over. over. That is crazy, man. I'm... My brain hurts trying to think of even how you began to do this. A lot of sleepless nights and no social life. That makes sense. <laughs> Sounds about right. So let, let's see how many points the judges give us for these two items. All right, here goes. The tough one. I think this is going to be immediately Dang. a good start for you. Let's see what the score is. Nice. 17 to 22. Oh, you already have a good lead. <laughs> All right, so for the spooky category, I basically wanted to come up with something like universal that we would all be terrified of. So as a little hint guys, what do we all have in common here? We're single. <laughs> you are right, but we are also all YouTubers. Oh, that is true. Oh, where, where could this go? It's 10 out of 10. So I added a very, a very special new demon boss to the game. And you spawn it by writing heck on a sign. What and you? then you drop a jukebox on top. So in case you guys, you guys are confused, the demon's name is Demonetizer. Demon. Oh. <laughs> and he's gonna get you. Oh, Run! Run! You Run. have to kill him. What? Yeah, you, you have epic, to kill though. him. Oh! He's yeah, gone. and Komaki <laughs> already got demonetized. Komaki gets demonetized, I love that. Yeah, let's kill him. Get rid hey, of the demonetization. Yeah, so you see he has a slam attack, a punch attack. And a super powerful like. Oh nice! Oh, let's go. This video is not That's monetized cool. again. Yeah, it's green. <laughs> so yeah, that that was the demonetizer. Nice. Let's go. So for this one, there we will be able to get uh, one and only one very specific item. 
the reason why you can only get one of these is because you need to use a dragon egg, and there's only one dragon egg, unless you're cheating or you're McYum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to spawn this, uh, we put four wither roses around and preferably not die. And before I throw on the wither skull, have any of you ever heard of Null? Oh God, he, he took away all my items when I was 10. <laughs> so you can see that there's a sword. Now no one grab the sword because I'll show you what it does. Once oh, I grab the sword, things might get a oh, little Oh my scary. goodness. Oh. <laughs> if I sneak, one of you is gonna get jump scared. Please don't let it be me. Oh God. It, goes. it was me. <laughs> so I can just oh, always oh. jump scare you guys and there's nothing you can do Wait, about it. So me. I challenge you all to kill me now. I can't see Where'd him. Where'd he go? No. Okay, you got oh, it. Mole yeah. has been defeated. Nice. Right. But I'll give someone else the sword now. Uh, let's see. Do we trust Mikyum to be null? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, Mikyum, take the sword. Oh, God. <laughs> Where is he? Probably he's in the him. lobby, just harassed him. Oh. Oh, oh, no, no there's, there's a, a fire. Oh, okay, yeah, I <laughs> That was, uh, that's what I added for Spooky. That was tough. Okay, it oh, looks like Kamaki catching up. <laughs> nice. nice. 38 to 41. Only three points ahead. I'm getting closer, but you're still in the lead. So for the explosion category, Ooh. I decided to give TNT a little upgrade and actually made it customizable. So here's the crafting recipe. And here's, here's what you actually Dude, get. that looks so cool. Uh, so you actually place it down, then you can right click and it opens up. Oh, what? Oh. And then you can take any of these nine components and put it inside. That's nuts. So, uh, let's for example, put some TNT in. Of course. Then let's maybe put an enchanting bottle inside. Uh, so we get some nice XP and maybe a firework. Then we can close it. What? And if we now activate it, we get a nice custom explosion effect. Oh, nice. Uh, so there are nine different possible components, um, and you can even stack them. So, for example, with the dragon egg, normally it would just spawn a single dragon, but if we stack it, it increases the level. Oh no. And, well, let's just see what happens. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> wow. That's epic. If we place a few sponge components in there and activate it, it's actually super efficient for clearing out water. Oh, wow. Um, and the higher the level is, the, the bigger the radius. Um, but you, you can combine anything you want. If you add a few slime components, it covers the entire ground in slime blocks. Oh, nice. Bro, Stevie's gonna have so much content. <laughs> True. For the grand finale, I, I have some good news because I actually implemented a way to include all nine components on max level. Oh, no way. Yeah, it, it it's gonna be pretty chaotic. Oh boy, are we gonna die? <laughs> oh no, oh, yes, oh, we are definitely gonna die. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. So for explosion, I decided to do something very unconventional. Probably the last thing you were expecting. So with the crafting recipe, I can craft myself an oversized burrito. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. So um, <laughs> uh, you can throw it on the ground. It has a nice squish effect. You can uh, throw it on a plate. But to experience this burrito, we all need to eat it at the same time. And it'll make sense. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering where the explosion part is. <laughs> so you, no one eat it yet. No one eat it yet. Three. Two, one, go. Just enjoy. <laughs> this is where things get a little sketchy. <laughs> oh no, I, I don't like where this is going. Why am I zooming in? Oh no. Do I want to be close to you guys? <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't. Comes next? I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. no oh, me, not again. <laughs> Oh, would you look at that? The lobby is magically back again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Burritos versus... Uh, yeah, versus customizable TNT. Oh, I'm seeing a 10 here. Oh, oh my boy. Oh, wow. Okay. That, that was unexpected. This is a huge boost for you, Matthew. Wow. Oh, wow. 50 to 65. 15 Ooh. point lead. No way. We have one more round left. Maybe you pull something insanely mind-blowing out of the oh, bag. 15 points. That's going to be difficult. The next category is space. And if, if you couldn't tell, we're supposed to be on Mars. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. Know it's like the it's like the cheap Wish version of Mars, but just you <laughs> use your imagination. <laughs> and what would a Mars adventure be without a rover? So that's exactly what Ooh. I added. You craft it like this, and oh, so you nice. get an amazing, beautiful rover like this. You can place it down. Okay. So you can just drive around with WASD. Hey, that looks and cool. And it has two very amazing special features. And I'm gonna need a volunteer. I would love to. Okay, Mikia, just 
stand still and exist for a second here. Okay. <laughs> oh no! I can actually what? grab you. Yeah. That's that so is hard. crazy. You are my prisoner, oh. Alec Young. And I can just drive around with you. Dang, nice. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. I have a trade offer for you. I get all of your subscribers, and you get to live. Deal? Well, let's just say, you know, what if I don't give you my subscribers? What are you gonna do? Okay, no, that's, that's fine. That's cool, that's cool. Don't worry about it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to subscribe. I don't yeah, need to subscribe. Again. That's fine, that's fine. All right, all right. Oh. Okay, I mean, I, I, yeah, I didn't exactly mean what I said. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's awesome. So that's that's the first cool feature of this Mars rover, and there's a second one. Uh, if we, for a second, spawn in a bunch of aliens, oh here, nice, <laughs> we can actually use a drill to kill oh, wow. them. Oh wow! That drill kind of looking freaky. Poor little aliens. And of course, the drill doesn't just kill entities. It obviously just it obviously drills as well. Oh nice! So you can just oh. mine blocks. Like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> All right, see ya guys. <laughs> I'm in the mountain. This is how the mine shafts were made. Yeah. <laughs> lore. Yes. This is all Minecraft lore. And then you can, once you're done, you can right click again, deactivate the drill. Oh, I love this. And be on your way. Bro, this is really cool. This is ridiculous. This is really good actually. Yeah, this one took me a while as well. Now I'm very curious what kind of space item you came up with. Uh, kind of a similar concept I would say for space, but it's also a vehicle. Uh, you can see the crafting recipe. Uh, it doesn't. The crafting recipe it won't really tell you what it is. UFO. Wow, Mikyum, you truly are a genius. <laughs> so we get the UFO. <gasps> oh my god. So we can place it down, and now I've oh got my the god. UFO. And uh, oh no, Mikyum has it. <laughs> well, I'm getting in the passenger. Oh my god. Oh my Whoa. god, it is so fast. Bro. What the oh, hell? Oh, can you can you can you Where get out real quick, Mikyum? How do I get out? I don't know what to do. Shift. How do I go down? You just wait and it will float down. Ah, okay. If you don't move, it will start hovering down. Man, that is like the, the controls are really satisfying to use. Then, of course, since steels are splitting, the spinning blades, you can uh, destroy blocks, as Mikyum clearly demonstrated already. <laughs> yeah, and then if you give yourself an anvil, you can throw it on and it goes back to the item form and then you can place it down anywhere. Oh, nice, nice. This is it, Mackie. This is what decides. I think uh, it's going to be very difficult for me to close the gap. Oh, but you're getting but, an A. Uh, These are both so good, though. How about this? I don't think I'm... F I'm just going to exaggerate the gap. I'm going to make it a little bit interesting. Yeah. Oh, make but if, <laughs> if Mackie loses now, that's going to be sad. Let's see. The, the moment of truth. All right. Oh, man. I'm so nervous now. Yes, it, oh, oh, 80 to 87. But, man, Mackie, you totally deserve that. Oh, thank you. But, I mean, it, it's not over yet. I, I hope I can keep the lead in your video game. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Free download link for the data pack is in the description. I'm releasing it next week, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Big thanks to the judges for joining, and now go watch the second part of our battle on Comanke's channel.